Hey everyone! Welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of Fast Report. You'll learn about the commonly used components for designing reports and how to create a simple sales invoice format. Let's get started. Part 1 Understanding Report Object Toolbar. The Fast Report Designer represents reports as a collection of schematic pages. Objects are placed anywhere on the report pages and are used to define the report's appearance and to display various information, such as text and graphics. Fast Report Objects which are included in the standard package are Object Selection is the standard mode of operation, it enables the mouse cursor to select object, modifies their sizes, etc. Hand allows dragging of the whole report page. Zoom allows left-clicking to zoom in or right-clicking to zoom out. Text Editor allows in-place editing of text object. Holding left mouse button and moving the cursor creates and sizes a new text object and opens its editor. Format copying allows format copying from one text object to another. Select a text object, click format mode button, select target text objects in turn. Exit format copying mode by clicking any other mode button. Band is an area on a design page which behaves according to its type. Text able to displays label and data from report database. Picture displays a graphic file in BMP, JPEG, ICO, WMF or EMF format. Subreport allows insertion of another report design page within the host page. System text displays either system information like date, time, page number, sum or aggregate values. Checkbox displays a checkbox with either a tick or a cross. Chart displays data in various chart formats. Rich text displays text in rich text format. Draw displays a horizontal or vertical line and displays various geometrical shapes like diagonal line, rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, triangle, and diamond. Barcode displays data as one of several barcode types. Part 2 – Understanding Bands Bands are one of the most important concepts in Fast Report. They define the structure of your report and determine how data is displayed. The group header is a grouping header that prints on every page. To enable this, right-click on the group header band and select Reprint on new page. The master data represents the main data set of the report. It is typically bound to the main data set, and each page can have only one main data set. The Detail Data section is used to display all item details. Detail Data 1 and Detail Data 2 determine how item details are processed based on whether the Merge Same Item Code option is enabled in Tools option miscellaneous. Detail Data 1 used when Merge Same Item Code is not ticked. Detail Data 2 used when Merge Same Item Code is ticked. The Group Footer functions as the grouping footer and appears only on the last page. The page footer is displayed on every page of the report. Part 3, Print Position, Stop Position, and Print Count. There are several properties in Fast Report that control how elements appear in the final output. Print Position. Print Position determines where the group footer will be printed on the page. The higher the value, the higher the footers. Without setting with Print Position, the group footer will be printed after the document detail records. First, right-click on Group Footer, click on Events, double-click on On Before Print Event Name. Adjust the value to change the height. For example, put minus 80. Let me show you the difference between minus 80 versus minus 200 in Preview Mode. Stop Position. Stop Position defines where printing should stop, Detail will stop at the input value. To implement this in the report, right-click on Detail Data 1, Clicks on events, double click on after calc height event name. Input the value in pixel. For example, put 600 to let it stop at 600 pixel. Let me show you the 600 versus 912 in preview mode. Print count. Print count specifies how many number of item records inputs should be printed. To implement this in the report, right click on detail data 1, clicks on events tab, Double-click on before print event name. Input the number of record. For example, if you set print count equals 20, each printed page will display a maximum of 20 item records. The report will capture either the stop position or the print count. To enforce a stop position, comment out the print count code. Part 4. Creating an invoice report. 
Now we will teach you on how to design simple sales invoice step by step in Fast Report. This is the practical that we are going to do it together. Step 1, choose the appropriate report. First, preview the invoice to check the default layout. Choose a default report format that is most similar to your desired report format. In this practical, use the report name Sales Invoice 11. Next, click on the report name to enter into design mode. This will allow us to start customizing the invoice. Step 2, add a picture. Now, let's add a picture, such as an ISO logo. Click on the picture object from the toolbar. Then, place it on the report page where you want the image to appear. Next, click on load to select an image from your local drive. Click on the green tick. Once the image is added, resize it as needed to fit properly in the report. Step 3, add customer email address. Next, let's add the customer's email address. Click on the text memo tool. Place it on the report page where you want the email to appear. Enter email as the label. Then, repeat the previous steps to insert a dynamic email field. Select expression, document underscore company branch, email. This will automatically fetch and display the customer's email from the database. Step 4, add a note. Now, let's add a note using the rich text object. Note is formatting text, hence you are required to use rich text object. Click on the rich text object from the toolbar. Then, place it on the report page where you want the note to be displayed. Now, select expression, main, note to fetch and display additional details from the dataset. Click green tick to save the changes. Step 5, add a sum of quantity. Next, let's add a sum of quantity. Click on the text object from the toolbar. Then, place it on the report page where you want the total quantity to be displayed. Now, click on system text icon. Select function, data band, data set and data field, press OK. This will automatically calculate and display the sum of all item quantities in the invoice. Step 6, draw a line for better formatting. Click on the line tool from the toolbar. Then, place it on the report page where you want to create a dividing line. Click and drag to draw the line to the desired length. Before we moving on to the next step, let's talk about the alignment toolbar. The align toolbar in Fast Report helps you organize and arrange objects efficiently within the report layout. We will now go through each alignment option. Align left aligns the left edges of all selected objects to the first selected object. Align middle aligns the horizontal centers of all selected objects to the first selected object. Align right aligns the right edges of all selected objects to the first selected object. Align top aligns the top edges of all selected objects to the first selected object. Align center aligns the vertical centers of all selected objects to the first selected object. Align bottom aligns the bottom edges of all selected objects to the first selected object. Space horizontally distributes the selected objects evenly along the horizontal axis. Space vertically distributes the selected objects evenly along the vertical axis. Center horizontally centers each selected object individually within its horizontal band. Center vertically centers each selected object individually within its vertical band. Shrink or grow width adjusts the width of all selected objects to match the first selected object. Shrink or grow height adjusts the height of all selected objects to match the first selected object. Step 7, center objects horizontally in the band. Now, let's align objects to the center. Click on the object you want to center, such as the invoice title. Then, click on center horizontally in band from the toolbar. The object will now be automatically aligned to the center of the band. Step 8, Align Objects. The system will align the objects according to the first selected object. If you need to align multiple objects, select all the objects that need to be aligned. Then, click on Align Left, Middle, or Right based on your preference. If you need to align Doc No and Date along the same horizontal axis, use one of these options, Align Top, Middle, or Bottom based on your preference. Step 9, Save and Preview the Report. Finally, let's save and preview our report. Click on File, then Save as, enter a report name, and click Save. Now, click on Preview to check the final result. That's all for this video. Thank you.
subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.